there always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the Emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Knuckles! Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we, anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckles! I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the President in the government's computer. I'm following the President's limo right now! If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there! Goody, more driving. Welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2, everyone. And we are driving as Tails towards the President's limo so they can find Eggman. Okay. And so, yeah, Tails' vehicle can also become a car. So, um, again, why doesn't Tails transform his uh, machine? into a plane so he can fly because I believe planes fly faster. I mean, I suppose that uh, he wants to catch up to the president uh, and uh, not overshoot him for some reason, but uh, I give up, I give up. Anyway, this here is Route 101 and the good counterpart to Rouge's level, Route 280. And Route 101 is named after a road of the same name that's actually on the west coast of the United States. And it's the good counterpart for a reason, folks. If you remember in Route 280, well, there are holes on the sides of the guardrails. There are holes in the middle of the road for some reason. I don't know why uh, Central City has this kind of issue. So, yeah, if you're not careful, if you're playing this level in a Rouge stage, well, you fall down and die, and that's no good. Tails' is, uh, road, well, basically it has no holes. It has no uh, dangerous obstacles, so, um, yeah, you can just go as fast as you want. You can use as much boost as you want, and, uh, well, uh, yeah. Now, I'm looking at that city in the background right here. I'm convinced that somebody just one day took a photo of uh, some realistic city and superimposed it there because, um, um, yeah. Look at all these billboards of a Chow and Chaos and ugh, a lot of uh, Easter eggs and all that sort of thing. It's kind of weird. And also on this road, if you run into cars, you can uh, cause them to wreck. <laughs> More mayhem. Now about kart racing in general, I don't normally do that sort of thing in these games. I just play to win, I just play to... Uh, well, play the characters. I don't have time for kart racing. If I were to kart race, I would rather play Mario Kart. But then, that's just me. And I don't even... Uh, I hear the challenges during kart racing are ridiculous. But uh, regardless, we'll never see this again after we reach the President's Limo. Thank God. Uh, and I see it on the horizon. Hooray. Okay, I'm more convinced that it is a photo of a city. A real city that probably exists somewhere uh, in the world. Um, I don't know which city it is exactly, but uh, yeah. Audience, would you happen to know which city this is right there? Um, that, that would be appreciated. Thank you. Uh, but regardless... Oh, goody, more kart racing. Don't care. Uh, anyway, cutscene. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. 
Our financial communities are impacted and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Eggman? <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we, Mr. President? I won't bore you with all the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! Sonic! Yeah, right. What the heck is going on here? Don't worry, Mr. President. What did you do? under control. Just leave it to us. Got a tail? Okay, let's move it! Wait up, Sonic! Uh, if you wait! Mr. President, we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as well. You saw them too, right? Yeah! We should be able to get into outer space from there. I don't know what the space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that camp, and then kick their Imperial butt. All right! I'll go and find the entrance! That's right, folks. This video is nothing but Tails levels. So, uh, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll leave it up to you. Now, I do not mind the mech sections, to be honest, but at the same time, um, I want to play a Sonic again or something. I want to move around as, at the speed of sound. Yeah. Now, I'm sorry if I sound like a negative Nancy uh, today. It's because I just got up and I haven't uh, had anything, uh, well, that'll wake me up yet. Uh, but regardless, here we are, hidden base. And it's not really hidden if you, uh, if, uh, Eggman has his face plastered all over everything. It's pretty much saying, here I am, I live at this base, ha 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 ha. But again, Eggman uh, loves himself, he is a true narcissist. <sighs> yeah, the point is, we have to navigate through these, uh, ruins, I guess. Destroy uh, some doors, destroy some of the columns to make our way forward. And in addition to some of the gun robots that are patrolling the area, we will run into some classic badniks that we can just destroy no problem. Now, destroying some of these doors, uh, some rooms lead, some areas lead to absolutely nothing. Some lead to uh, some uh, rings or animals you can pick up, and uh, some lead you to a dead end, I guess. I mean, like, take, for example, right here. Go this way and destroy this uh, block with a Eggman, with an Eggman Sphinx on it, and we get a good old um, uh, Chow crate, which I really don't care because I don't plan on raising Chow. All right, so as I go through this level destroying things, and why didn't I get that, uh, why didn't I get that checkpoint right there? I have to wonder why. <laughs> I was probably being cocky at the time, but yeah. Okay, like I was saying, um, uh, probably wondering why uh, Amy's not playable. Well, uh, to be honest, um, what what contribution does she put to the story? I mean, I know that she has uh, a couple of uh, contributions uh, plot-wise, but uh, in a way, I'm kind of glad that Amy is playable in the main story because. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, there are three playing styles, you know, we have the speed section, we have the treasure hunting, and the mechs, and having her in the story, um, what does that accomplish? I mean, yeah. Although in multiplayer, she pretty much serves as an alternate, uh, color of Sonic, 
because uh, she can move fast and uh, yeah she plays much better in this game well in multiplayer that is and yeah now speaking of multiplayer well um, I might as well talk about it right quick um, folks um, for the time being I am not doing multiplayer one because well I don't have anyone to play with at the time and two um, even though I have uh, lots of technology um, I don't have the uh, proper uh, equipment to record um, well multi uh, voice to record a uh, multiple uh, microphones at the same time so yeah for the time being this will be a solo playthrough and well um, there are plenty of uh, playthroughs of multiplayers online so sorry anyway right around here I'm, I'm about to do a jump cut because well I went down the bottom area and it turns out that it was a complete waste of time why well for one I don't have an upgrade that can break uh, metal crates at the time and two it'll just lead to an upgrade which is the mystic melody and well we've pretty much seen enough of mystic melody to uh, know where this is going I mean Mystic Melody, I know it's good for finding shortcuts and stuff, but it's a complete waste of, um, well, an upgrade, really. You know what? It is satisfying to uh, destroy some Orbanauts, you know, those dreaded Orbanauts that have been giving you trouble throughout the Sonic series. It's so satisfying just to shoot them and destroy them, you know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> Of course, there's quicksand all over the place, and if the mech gets inside said quicksand, well, you're pretty much a goner. And, uh, well, you'll see, you'll see in this video, trust me. So now we are definitely getting into Badnik territory as we get closer and closer to Eggman's base. Which, be which begs the question, again, why doesn't Tails transform, in transform his mech into a plane again and just fly to the entrance? would have saved us a whole lot of trouble but then of course Eggman would probably be expecting that sort of thing and lay down some kind of booby traps but uh, isn't the plane full of armaments or something uh, I don't again why am I questioning this logic people tell me why am I questioning this logic it's a video game I should be having fun but no I have to point out every minor plot hole and, oh and speaking of minor plot holes there's that whole thing about, in the cutscene, about the president and the whole uh, satellite communications are down. Well, how's that explain uh, the communication between Eggman? Hmm? How's it, how do they explain the communication between the president and Rouge um, off screen? Yes, yes, by now we know that Rouge is the uh, agent that works for the president if you've seen the dark story already. So, uh, yeah. Now, one of the things that uh, I found I I uh, find odd, especially since I've played the modern games, is the lip syncing. Uh, the lip syncing in this game is, uh, ugh. I mean, their mouths move uh, when they're not talking. Um, they're talking when their mouths aren't moving. And while you can say that it is uh, due to the uh, Dreamcast type of graphics, um. I've seen some PS1 games where the lip syncing is almost uh, perfect. Almost. I mean, there's some, uh, well, there's some off, there's some uh, lip, uh, lip syncing issues that are a bit off, but at the same time, um, they're, they're almost good. So, uh, I don't know what's the excuses of this team, but, yeah. Again, it's those minor little things that doesn't detract too much from the story as long as I play the games properly. It's, it's all that matters in the end, really. Alright, here it comes, this section right here. Yeah, you know, sometimes the jumping on these mechs can be a little, uh, off. I mean, sure you might be jumping fine and moving fine at one moment, but at the same time, you jump at the wrong moment, and, uh, you get screwed. Like here, for example. And see how the quicksand immediately just, uh, consumes, uh, Tails and his mech. Well, that's because Tails is in a mech. The same thing would apply to Dr. Eggman at a, at his level, uh, Sand Ocean. And, uh, uh, Now, you'll see later on that other characters, uh, namely Sonic, will fall into Quicksand, and because he is not in the mech, he will not immediately sink, which means he will be fine. So, 
And as long as you're wearing heavy armored mech thingies, then uh, you'll be safe, I guess. I'm not sure, really. Well, regardless... Uh, that was... Well, folks, here we are. There's the gold ring that just popped up. Huh. And we found the entrance to Eggman's secret base, even though, again, Tails could just fly over and uh, pinpoint its location, but whatever. I gotta do better next time. All right, folks, let's enter Eggman's base. We will find a way to the satellite arc and uh, stop his plans next time.